Hello guys, Lebotomus here, and today we're going to be playing a game called Game Dev Tycoon. This is going to be a series, a series game. Now, I saw Jacksepts guys playing it, and well, I said why not, why not I get it. It seems really fun, so let's get into it guys. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have to be tra you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of P uh, beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Okay. Before you start uh, your adventure, you can. You have to give uh, the upcoming com company a name. A name. What's a knave? Why would I say a knave? Okay. Hmm. Lebot Lebotomus. Dot co. Okay. Player name. Lebotomus. Okay. I'm a male, or I could be a female. Whichever one. <laughs> is he going to be Asian? White? What is he going to be? Um, I like him like this. Honestly. Uh, green shirt? Okay. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Support young s a young start. Develop a game. Before your development can def be... I can't read. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create. Give your game a name. You can always you can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be you will be able to unlock new options. Okay. Um game number 1. Um uh tales Tales of uh, Macarena. Tales of Macarena. <laughs> um, racing life space. Um, uh, space. Pick genre. Action. Pick platform. G sixty four. Um, dev cost twenty k. Market share, yeah, this. Okay, let's go. Oh, graphics, text, text base, two D graphics, or okay. I saw one of Jack's ep guys like episodes, and apparently you can go all the way to three D and stuff. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can. And decide what what areas of the game do you want to focus on. Picking the right focus of for your game increases the points you generate. Okay. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay. Um, gameplay, yes. I don't want it to be so much of a story quest ish. I want to be. S I want it to be somewhat like um, Dark Souls, I guess. So gameplay high, engine high, story a little lower. Okay. Oh, research. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points. You can, which you can, which you can. Ah, I don't know how to read. Which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into designs, design points, and technology points. The more points you generate, the better your game will be. Okay. For the time, uh, from time to time, there will also be bug points generated these points are less likely once you gain experience bug points sh bugs should be fixed before the game is released increase development time and cost okay oh there there are bugs <laughs> get rid of the bugs 
development stage two level design I want I like um AI to be high and dialogues oh no no dialogues I want AI to be highest research okay there are two bugs only five design seven design no the bugs are coming everywhere during development you can always select you can also select additional features for your game right now you can only pick basic sounds but your options will increase quickly selecting additional features makes the game generally better but can also increase costs you will also see graphic type when you select the defined game this is just a reminder to remind you of your choice you cannot change the types ooh sorry for burping you cannot change the types of graphics per game and mid game <gasps> now that's a hiccup oh so I can't change this is at all um graphics I, w I love well sound world design is epic why not just do this sound um sound I'm not in too worried about graphic not too worried about world design that can stay up there world design is epic no bugs yet no bugs yet oh and there goes a bug finish okay the development of your first game is now complete you can press finish you can press the finish button to publish the ga your game but you should only do that once you fix the majority of all bugs releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings so you should only ever consider that if you need cash and you can't afford to wait well bugs make the game fun sort of oh okay the bugs are being fixed technology everything is going to good I have nineteen thousand dollars right now you for real dang okay looks like I'll just finish the game the development of your game is now finished while you're developing games you can gain experience and improve your skills when development is completed you will be presented with summary of the experience gained 12 and 13 just like up there engine gameplay <laughs> story quest dialogues artificial intelligence graphic sound lobotomist is that bad I feel like that's bad release the game okay oh this is research this just stay your game is now completed and will be handed off to publishing we should see reviews and sales in the game in, in the I can't read in for the game soon okay 11k the first reviews of for our newly released game Tales of Macarena came in eight star games okay played it for days informed gamer enjoyable okay enjoyable I'm like you enjoy it good game all games okay after publishing a game you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report and game reports are great are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight into the into what works and what doesn't work when developing the when developing a game to generate a game report close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu lobotomist call a newcomer in the game in industry has just released their first game tales of macarena <laughs> the game re received favorable reviews with such good good with, with Ah, with such a good start, Lobotomist Co. are sure to gain fans quickly. Okay. Tales of Macarena. What are units? You have 3,000 of them. 
Um, Tales of Macarena sold 3,877 units in its first week in the market. We made it in the charts at tw number 26. The Now that your game is released, uh, I can't speak. Now that your game is on sale, you will release, uh, you will receive, ah, dang, income for, from the game every week. You can now see the well, how well your game is doing is doing by looking at sales at sales graph in the top right corner of the screen, right there. Oh, I don't want to. Tales of Macarena was so successful that we now have 20 fans. 20? Really? We have 38 thousand dollars. So that's what I like. Oh, we're selling so much. Tesla Macarena has received a comp achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 sold. And this is an important milestone in the history of Lobotomous Co. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, it's just getting lower, isn't it? It's just getting lower. No. It really hit a high point like right here in the third graph I wonder why I put the settings so it wouldn't show the mouse on the screen and so annoying Tales of Macarena is now off the market it sold 18,000 units uh, gen units generating 130,000 in sales okay why don't I that oh for like paying for other stuff and oh minus 8k Oh, I need to um, game history research. What's research? Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your very own game. Uh, this will greatly improve your games. Hint: Try to develop games with a different topic, genre, combinations for a slight research boost. New topic: dance. Okay, hunting. Um, I don't know what that is. Start research. <laughs> Recent market studies suggest that it's steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers pres prefer the lower price, greater availability and flexibility hardware configuration over the home computers. Not true in the real real world, at least I don't think. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing har hardware manufacturers. Do 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 do. I really like the song in the background, though. You have successfully reached hunting. Okay, new topic. Um, generate. Oh, well, we already made a game, so whatever. Tales of Macarena. <laughs> um, oh, we're steadily losing money and we're just not doing anything, are we? Um, uh, dark bowls. Dark bowls. <laughs> um, hunting. Pick genre. Adventure. Pick flat platform. I guess that cost 30k. Uh, 2D graphics, text space, no. Oh, I guess text space is like um, it's like a um ah, uh, thing. It's like a t texting thing only. Um, engine doesn't have to be really powerful. Gameplay is a lot. Story quest. Dark Souls has a lot of story in it research oh where'd all our research go I guess that was only for the other game dialogues sure there are quite a few di dialogues in Dark Souls level design level design is amazing Artifil artificial intelligence not that great in Dark Souls I'm basing this off of Dark Souls by the way I don't know why I'm telling you now Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? 
According to according to rumors, the Japanese company Nivento, Ninvento, okay, is planning to launch its very own home game console. Ninvento is known for a widely successful arcade game like Dinky King. Okay, the ma many ministry, many industry experts doubt that the console will take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will de deliver. Not deliver. Um, world design is the uh, dark bowls. The graphics are amazing. Sound is pretty good. I really want to get Dark Souls Three, by the way, you guys. Maybe if I do get it on my P on a PS4 that I might get, I'll just get that. Okay, get rid of all the bugs. All the bugs gotten rid of. Oh wow, really? Okay, new topic, new combo. Oh, it's certainly higher than the other game. Maybe we can reach level 2. Sound. Oh, we're still on level 1. Damn it. The first reviews for a newly released game. Dark Soul Bar Dark Bowls came in. What? I bet it's because of that bug we left in there. Could have been better. Game Hero has its moments. Have, I, I have seen better. Tales of Macarena was better, wasn't it? Is this a garage? Are you making your games in a garage? Really, bro? Really? Today, Ninvento has confirmed that recent re confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release the new home gaming console called T uh, TES early next year. The console features uh, cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed control. Uh, are they gonna do the PlayStation thing too? Where in, in real life, Nintendo made PlayStation, but Sony was like. Could we have it since you're not using it? <laughs> it didn't go anywhere. I'm kidding. It was really good. I actually played the first PlayStation I played was PlayStation 1 though. Some random guy gave it to me. And then, well, at first I played it with my cousin to the Lobotomist from Patrick and Daniel Hook. Hi, Lobotomist. We are the crew creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you for very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game, De game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it with your purchase support. Our little startup, this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Okay, seriously, you rock. I don't want to read this, guys. It's their first game. It's amazing. Dark Bowl sales. <laughs> so is that it? Research points. Uh, a bunch of them. Is that it? One fan. Okay. Um. Research. New topic. Moments. I guess. Um, okay, off the market. Dark Bowls is now off the market. Sold 9,989 units and $69,000. Okay. Anyways, guys, as soon as this research is finished, I am stopping the recording. I honestly had a lot of fun playing this game. Okay, romance. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all later and goodbye.